semiconductor or a chip. Perhaps the most potent weapon in Taiwan's armory. More potent than the F-16 Vipers and the Patriot. And on this show, we will tell you how sand and rock SiO2 are converted into polysilicon rocks and then a silicon ingot, how bare silicon wafers are made out of this and how this is then converted into this chip or IC that's used perhaps in most devices in your house from a mobile phone to a television set to a refrigerator or the aircraft you fly in by some accounts majority of such products come from Taiwan basically everywhere okay so imagine in your household in the uh, living room you have TV you have a mobile phone uh, you have a networking device for the uh, Wi-Fi connectivity outside with the cars uh, with uh, you know the, on the in the sky with the satellites everything you know that's resides with uh, uh, electronics there are semiconductor inside yeah we work a lot with our customer Okay, they tell us how much they need in the future, and usually we call that the forecast. Uh, so that's uh, especially like a more than a year or two years forecast. They tell us in upfront, and we prepare everything uh, properly. So we prepare, for example, raw material and everything else uh, to ensure the manufacturing uh, can go smoothly. Major proportion of the raw wafer coming from Japan. And not only that, uh, you know, we talk about uh, chemical gas, that's uh, you know utilized in the manufacturing and many many things else and that's coming from the globe basically semiconductor takes a global supply chain to ensure that uh, you know runs smoothly i think uh, just the past two years we you know everybody faced a shortage of uh, semiconductor supply so to avoid that kind of uh, you know surge or, or, or going under we need to prepare very properly in advance so honestly, uh, for the semiconductor manufacturing, one wafer from raw wafer to the finished product typically, typically takes months. So typically like a two or three months, even some, some product uh, more complicated, even longer. And uh, there are many, many steps, thousands of manufacturing steps. So if one step's uh, material or supply goes wrong, it has to stop, okay? And so that we, we do in, in, ensure that uh, we have a uh, you know, very good forecast and a very good, uh, you can say, reservoir or preparation of the raw material that's you know, needed for the manufacturing processes. Yeah, that's the key. You can barely see this microchip, but this powers perhaps your mobile phone. Microchips or semiconductors like these also power missiles in different countries. So whether it's your television set or your refrigerator set or the car in your house, Semiconductors by some accounts, 90% are manufactured here in Taiwan. If tensions with China increase, the global supply chain will be adversely impacted. And that's the reason Taiwan is reaching out to democracies across the world. Unless there is a check on China's authoritarianism and expansionism, then global economy may just be adversely impacted. It's time to act now or it may just be too late. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.